Hey everyone, my name is Josh. Uh, if you're not familiar with me or who I am or what I do within the uh, Skype for Business community, I uh, put my information right below here. Uh, there, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Twitter handle at GetCSJosh, YouTube channel Get-CSJosh, and then of course my personal website and blog www.get-csjosh. Uh, for those of you that um, haven't really kind of gathered what I'm doing there with the name, that's the uh, it's just kind of a play on the whole PowerShell commandlets for Skype for Business, get-cs, and then uh, my name. So I know, corny, um, or as I like to put it, clever, very clever. But uh, at any rate, that's who I am. Um, do a weekly little uh, webcast where I'm given the news and, and of what's going on within Skype for Business and the uh, Microsoft UC communities each week, about 15 minutes, put it out on Fridays, um, source of entertainment for you. Also run a blog and uh, it's been a little sparse lately, but I'm trying to get there. Um, and, uh, and then, that, yeah, my website's got a few other little pieces of information and resources for you. So feel free to check any of that out. In the meantime, Let's get this video on the road. What we are doing today is talking about how to get your Skype for Business online DNS record set up. Um, the scenario here is that you've got Skype for Business. I'm sorry, you've got Office 365 and <clears throat> you added your own personal domain tenant. That's set up and verified. But when you set everything up, you didn't specify that you were doing Exchange or Skype for Business online. You just set it up and now that you've purchased Skype for Business Online licenses, now you need to go and get those DNS records created so that it works. Um, and this is for everybody really, you know, to just as a walkthrough. I've also got a really good got you that I'm gonna present at the end. That's important to know. But particularly the audience that I'm hoping I'm hitting here today are people that maybe managing Office 365 and DNS records are not your normal duties, but somehow, the responsibilities have landed on your shoulders at your company in this case. Uh, if that happens, I, I, I think that this can be a good helpful video for you. Uh, so before I ramble too much, let's have me zoom on down to the corner here. There I am. And let's take a look at the admin center. Our Office 365 admin center. Uh, this is the preview portal. All right. Um, as you can see, we can switch back to the old one over here. I don't want to do that. I like this new control panel. I like how much more clean and and neat and tidy it all looks, yet still having so much access to all the important areas that you need right on the main dashboard here. And then of course, to drill through the site, they have neatly tucked away the menu on the uh, left-hand side here. We can hover over it to see each menu item though. We can also expand the whole thing for easier reading. Um, and today, we're gonna be taking a look at the domain section underneath of our settings. This is where we can manage DNS records and um, you know DNS records having to do with the domains that we have set up already. Um, of course, from within here, we could also add a domain and even buy a domain if we wanted to do that. So um, at this point, I have one custom domain that I've added in. We've got our default on Microsoft.com domain, which is, that's just there for every tenant. Um, but then the one domain that I've already added in custom is the S4B lab.org that's my lab domain name there and um, we have a warning icon next to it and possible service issues that is no bueno we want to get that fixed so that we uh, we can use skype for business online we got the licenses we just need to get the dns records created but darn it what is the problem here well if we click on it we're going to get this whole little window that pops up let me go ahead and slide myself right on out of the way. All right, cool. Now let's take a look at this. We have our domain name. Uh, we have the fact that the domain is managed outside of Office 365. Got a few links up here. We can set this as the default domain. Uh, we can manage our DNS, check the DNS, uh, and remove the domain. We don't really need to check right now. We already know we've got DNS errors in here. Before we go to resolve those, we can take a look and see what all the required records are for this domain here. And we can see what all those are listed there. Very handy. Um, let's go take a look at these errors, all right? Here we go. We have a current and expected for each one of these. And our, under our C names, there are two records, SIP and Link Discover. Skype for Business Online, 
Alpha 365 wants you to have SIP and Link Discover set up as C names. C names, not A records. Uh, for SRV records, they want you to have the good old SIP and SIP Federation TLS. It gives you all the information you need to set them up with, tells you where you need to point them. So if you were savvy enough at your DNS management through GoDaddy or wherever you manage your DNS zone, you could go in there with this information and start populating those records. If that seems a little bit freaky to you or you just don't want to mess with that, we have a cool little mechanism built in here. We know what our problem is, so now we can say, all right, well, let's, uh, let's go fix the records, all right? Window pops up. It detects that I'm, this domain is hosted at GoDaddy. Uh, we need to put in our username and password. In the name of security, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this window over to a screen that you can't see and type in my creds. And secure login, it liked it. We need to confirm access now. Uh, it wants to let us know it's going to make changes to that domain and we need to give it permission. So we say accept. And uh, here we go, configuring our DNS records. Boom, just like that, all DNS records are correct. Correct, and that was lickety split fast. I mean, two seconds, it logged into GoDaddy and set up all these records and that's it. You're, it, it you have all your DNS records set and ready to go for using Skype for Business Online. That is pretty sweet. I mean, look over here. We, we already see our warning signs gone, setup is complete. It's a beautiful thing. We're now ready to assign licenses and start using it. So now for that gotcha, and this is a big one, um, on this page here, when, we, uh, when we're looking at this and we had the whole view errors, um, you click on view errors and if you'll recall, it showed us the records we were missing under C names. And I called that out earlier, C names, not A records. Now let's go and assume that this domain name that you're working on is a domain that you previously were using in a on-prem deployment. So, and at the time you set up the DNS records using A records, which you can do and it works, that's okay. Your GoDaddy now has your SIP and Link Discover as A records set up in there, but Office 365 is only checking to make sure that you have um, the C name in place. So once it sees that the C name records are not there, it says they're missing, we need to create them. You go through the process of creating them, it runs into problems because in the background, it's trying to create these records, GoDaddy won't let it because it will conflict with the A record. You can't have a similarly named A record and C name record in the same DNS zone. So that's a conflict, GoDaddy doesn't let you do it. Office 365's wizard here doesn't recognize that. It doesn't know what the problem is and so it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and never tells you there's a problem. I discovered it because after spinning for so long, I went into my GoDaddy DNS file I saw the A records, I deleted them, and as soon as I deleted them, everything stopped spinning over in Office 365. It created the C name records, and we were good to go. So, normally, very seamless, flawless, beautiful process for getting set up. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Can't recommend it enough. This is a great way to go if you're setting up Office 365. Never had to lift a finger to get my DNS records in place for Skype for Business Online. Um, but if you have used the domain previously and you did use A records and you didn't clean them up, be aware that Office 365 might not tell you what's going on there and you'll have to remove those. All right. At any rate, thanks guys. Thanks for joining in today. This has been fun. I'm uh, very glad to have shared this information and uh, I hope that you found it useful. Please share it. If you did, that, that would be awesome. And, uh, and please tune into the next Skype for Business recap if you have a chance. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Adios.